So we know that there's 180 degrees in a triangle, and I can prove that later, but if we accept that there's 180 degrees in a triangle, we're going to go from there. So that's um, three sides, right? If we have four sides, if I were to draw this, I have two triangles, right? And each triangle has 180 degrees. So I have two 180 degrees, which is 360. Uh, if I look at this one here and I do the same thing, if I start at a point and try to draw triangles, and can't do any more, I have one, two, three triangles. Each triangle has 180 degrees in each one of the angles, so I have three 180 degrees in its five sides. If I do the same thing here, try to draw triangles. Each triangle has 180 degrees, so I have one, two, three, four times 180, and it's six. Now you notice that every one is, if I have four, if I have one, three sides, I have one way. Four sides, two, five sides, three, six sides, four. I always have two less than the number of sides because, the, like, I couldn't draw a triangle for that one and that one, right? I could only draw for those. I couldn't draw a triangle there and there. I could only draw for those. So there's always, like, two bum sides. So the sum of the interior angles... For any um, convex, I can go over that in a second. Convex polygon is a uh, 180 times n minus 2. So, sum of interior angles for any complex polygon is 180 times n minus 2. That's our formula. Now, some of the problems don't want the sum of all the interior angles. Some are just concerned about one angle. So, um, so if you want each interior angle of a regular polygon, and regular just means that it has all the same sides and all the same angles. So. Um, a regular pentagon would look something like that with all the same sides and all the same angles um, versus a non-regular pentagon, something like that, fairly like those look like they're right and that one's certainly not. So, um, so if we wanted the measure of each individual piece, we could take the sum which we know to be 180 times n minus 2, and divvy that up amongst the n um, angles, right? If there are n sides, there are n angles, and just take the sum and divide it up amongst those equally, and you get that. Um, so those are a couple nice little formulas for you. Um, I mentioned I would tell the difference between convex and concave. Um, all the figures I have here are convex. Concave have little caves in them. Um, something like that um, would be concave. The way you can tell if you're unsure, if you draw any line, you shouldn't cross through the middle. So this is bad. Whereas these, if I draw lines that extend the sides, I never cross through the middle. If I draw lines and extend the sides, I don't touch the middle. I don't touch the middle. I don't touch the middle for any of my convex things. But for concave, where I have these little, I can't think of anything else but the one I drew. Um, but if I have something like that, if I extend these lines, that one's fine, that one's fine, that one's fine, but that one, oh, no way. That one's concave. 